each be in their company. And the second condition, disassociate yourself from those who got astray and who became prey of Allah's breath, who were punished by Almighty Allah, who were abandoned by the wrath of Almighty Allah, and who were misguided. Disassociate yourself from them. Now it's up to you to appreciate these people and to differentiate between the two. Who are the blessed ones and who are the misguided ones. But the condition of the safe arrival at the destination, the condition of the safe reception of an hidayah is the company of the blessed people and disassociation from the misguided people. And this is not available just through the reading of books. The first step towards this goal is to achieve the company of someone whom you consider to be the blessed one. Somebody else may consider anybody else. There can be a difference of opinion on this thing. But now this is a decision of your conscience. Almighty Allah has granted you everybody with a conscience, with a mind, with intellect, with the ability of differentiation. So now it's up to you to differentiate between the two. It's up to you to realize, to appreciate, to recognize who are the blessed ones and who are the misguided ones. But the main effect remains the same that guidance and misguidance both have been personified. The morals, human morals have been declared to be the sources of guidance and some human models have been declared to be the sources of darara, misguidance. So the, some human beings have been declared to be the sources of idara and some human models have been declared to be the sources of darara, misguidance. You find a straight. If you go in the company of some people and you get the right path and the desire, if you remain and get associated in the company of some people. So the concluding of the remarks, again this concept of the this concept of company, to be in company of someone, again is the major subject of the soul. is the major subject of the soul. And company is the real source of all blessings. This is not my subject of discourse today. Otherwise, it, it needs hours and hours to explain. But this is not our subject. I am just giving you a hint. Company is the real source Association is the real source of every kind of blessing from Almighty Allah. Just, I give you a similar example. There are the examples of Sahara. What are the known in English? What term is used for Sahara? Just repeat it. Sahara.
were not given the name of Ali. <coughs> they were given the name of Sahabi. They did jihad. They fought and sacrificed their lives in way of Allah. But they were not given the title of Mujahid. Although they were Mujahid. But this caption was not given to them for identification of their class. They were offering the pre-dawn prayer, they were mutajideen. They were those, the one who never missed the title, but they were not known as mutajideen. And though they were mutajideen, they were Ayin, they were Fuqaha, they were mujahideen, they were mubalireen, they were scholars, they were good preachers, they were dua. Dali, they did the work of Dawa, they did the work of spiritual Tandila, they fought the holy wars, they were spending their money in the way of Allah, they did the act of charity, they did many, many acts of piety, acts of kindness, and they had so many human virtues in their life. They have so many moral values in their life, so many ethical and human values in their life. Nobody can imagine. But in spite of all these virtues and qualities and characteristics which they possessed, none of them, these characteristics, was merely the caption or the identification of their class. They were never identified with those characteristics. Only one characteristic from out of thousands, only one quality from out of thousands, only one virtue out of thousands was chosen. And which was that virtue which was chosen? Exclusively, that was the virtue of being in company of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Almighty Allah chose this quality out of thousands of their quality and because of this sohba, this company, they became sahaba and today we say companions. You understand the point? And it was after those people, those who became the father, then they were known as father of the Tatari. Were they not followers of the Holy Prophet? Were they not followers of the Holy Prophet? They were. But followers, this name was not given to them. This name was given to the second class of the people, Tabi'in and Tabi'in. Tabi but they were given the protection for identification and that was a Sahaba because of their company with Holy Prophet. And then Almighty Allah introduced them to the people, to the people of Holy Prophet. When Allah introduced them to us through His Quran, He picked up the same characteristic. He said, Muhammad Rasulullah, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. He wanted to mention the Holy Prophet's companions. He said, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah and those who are his, in his company, they are like this and this and this. Then he started mentioning their virtues. They fight against the enemies of Islam and they like one another. They are kind to one another. So their, their characteristics and virtues of their moral behavior was mentioned one by one. But the title given, the first identification given to them was Vandazi Namaru, those who are in his company. So the main point which I have explained.